What are those? That sure looks like eggs. But whose eggs is the question? <laughs> Just also look at the crab. I'd like to see what its what its behavior is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're pretty brave little ant You don't want to get too close to them. <laughs> yeah, you become food. Yeah. Flying off. Yeah, I think this. Crab is like. Paint. Oh, but that's an interesting association. I'm not, you know, something else that might be new. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah. I mean, make, make yeah. sense, you know, it's a sloppy feeder. <laughs> exactly. It'd be interesting to go back to pre video from other places and other times and see if they're there. That we just weren't paying attention. Video, yeah, and I mean, and they're hanging on to the mouth parts, you know, they're not just swimming there, they're all clutched on. Sort of depth, uh, I, I wasn't on earlier in the dive. Uh, how many other uh, chase you on? A good number. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, at least a, probably close to a dozen, and we've seen an, a couple mating pairs as well. Uh, yeah. So possible to go back and look at earlier video and see if there's a view, point of view to to uh, see if, if amphipods are associated with those animals too. Yeah. This is a really outstanding view of the mouth, and before I describe the mouth parts, I'll just point out again that these are amphipods that are clutching onto the, the bottom of the crab mouth parts and crawling around there. The reflective white that you see is their eyes, and I just want to remind folks who were tuned in, what, five or ten minutes ago, and we were looking at those little skeleton shrimp that are so alien-looking. Those were also amphipods, but just highly elongated into stick-like shape and don't have all those legs. Uh, but you can see the crab mouth parts here, they're really quite complicated. And the, the ones that the amphipods are on are called maxillipeds. Um, those are actually modified walking legs. So if you compare them to other crustaceans, those would be used for walking. Um, but they've become adapted for mouth parts and um, the decapods. And then there are, what, uh, I think three or four other pairs of limbs or appendages between what you're seeing there, those orange structures, and the mouth itself, so they look kind of pinky here. Um, and then the whitish ones that you see on the outside are the grinding and cutting mandibles. So they've got a lot of uh, tools there that they can use to feed on those eggs and other things. Whoa! Whoa my goodness! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sign off and keep watching. All right, thank, thank you. Thanks, Peter. Let's just frame it. Yeah. This wow, is this is so cool. The, yeah. That's a big mouthful. <laughs> and it is really, this is a good example, too, of how these crabs are scavengers or they are opportunistic feeders and that... In previous years, last year, they saw them feeding on a brittle star, a different chaseon feeding on a brittle star, um, and eating that whole brittle star, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, we're watching them, this one, eat these uh, sculpin eggs or fish eggs that have been deposited um, and left kind of out in the open, which I think this crab is very um, pleased to find. It looks like it might be backing away now that it has its... Uh, there's Food stash. On your left toe. Oh, coming in for some fun. Yeah, he's crawling up the hill. Oh, it's a big crab. It's a big, let's see. bigger one. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh is there another one coming? Yeah, you see him in oh. the left side. Come wide, real quick, video. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big one coming in. Wow, there's the, there's he's the enormous. Maybe he caught smell of what was going on over here. And I think that might be an Argonaut egg case um, down to the uh, right after we watch these uh, crabs interact. I think it's a test of an urchin, um, Scott. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, it's cracked open on the left side there. Got it. Wow, that is a big crab. Yeah. I think 
think this is a, a spider crab or a king crab. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, lith lithodidae, I believe, is the family <laughs> of these king crabs. This is Ooh. awesome. <laughs> Look at that small crab. We thought that, that red. In the, just above the crab, tucked under the ledge. I think there's one of those. Uh, oh, yep. Oh, there's a sculpin, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, I, I hope it's not a dig. It's a poor little sculpin. <laughs> Squid. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Look oh, at the crab. This crab get up on this shelf. It's actually missing a leg, too. Oh, it is, isn't it? This king crab is missing one of its walking legs. And that other oh, Chaseon red crab is now like, I've got my stash. I will walk away and not get <laughs> attacked by this very large king crab. Right, not looking at you. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, this is a good view to note that these king crabs, you note there's only four pairs of legs on each side, one missing, so uh, it looks like seven. Um, shows they're more closely related to the hermit crabs than they are to that other crab that just chased away, the Chaseon. Oh. Um, it does have a fifth pair of legs. All decapods so would have five pairs, but they're um, very highly reduced and might be uh, tucked underneath the um, back of the carapace. Oh, okay. Yeah, the crab took off. It's also really interesting to think about the, like, we haven't seen another one of these large king crabs, and if how they're able, if it is just by chance that it happens to find this pile of eggs, or if there is some olfactory sense where they um, are able to detect them from a distance. It sure seemed to be walking this direction with purpose, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, right. This is also pretty fun to watch. It <laughs> like it should have just gone around. <laughs> Expecting to see it just like <laughs> topple over backwards. I think it'll figure it mm -hmm. out. It probably is missing that one leg pretty sorely right now, as it would use that to help push itself up. And so these lithodids are are related to the king crabs that people eat when you eat king crab le king crab legs as well. Um, this one is a little bit different Yay, than I think job, some of us might guy. be used to eating, but I don't know. It's some pretty good size legs. I mean, those look yeah. <laughs> it's like it's trying to ride a horse. <laughs> and there's another. Oh, this looks like a solitary yeah. coral underneath yeah, that little ledge there. A handful of eggs. Yeah. Clawful. Okay. It's a really interesting observation about the way it just climbed up on there instead of, as you say, you know, just go around. Yeah. It just, it, and it went right what? past. It doesn't, it's not right. seeing the surroundings. It doesn't know it can go around. No, so well, it doesn't it even climb. look like it's going for the eggs. Like, where, right. yeah, where it is it like, going? It's in my way. I'm going this direction. Oh, maybe. That is, seems strange. Maybe it's confused. Huh. It doesn't. I mean, normally it's very dark down here. It wouldn't be seeing. You're right. Yeah. Be using its antenna to sort of feel around. Yeah. We just got a happen chance crab flyby in a really interesting spot. Yeah. <laughs> be interesting to see if the chase yarn crab now sort of sidles back to those eggs. True. You know, the dangerous path. I was I was I was it's just thinking that danger. same thing that if it comes back. Uh, he was just wondering if maybe it'll end up the other one will end up walking back to the eggs. Yeah, but is this like I don't know if, I don't know I don't know if he said that or not. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point too by Scott that normally there's you know we're bringing the light with us. There's normally not light down here, so these animals when they do find um, something like this they're doing that in the dark they're mm -hmm. not um, they're not seeing what they're doing they're sensing what they're doing 
Did we have lasers on this large crab at any point? Not yet. I'm coming up to catch up to him. I thought he was going to step on the... I know, me too. I think we all did. Eggs. So I was not getting set up nicely. Yeah, we can kill those lights. Got to get rid of some of the dust. Thanks. Come around. Turn the lasers on for a bit. Oh, yeah. It's a... Yeah, those legs would be about 30 to 40 centimeters each. I guess maybe when you backed up, it's possible we got a little prep wash. Try to mix it up on you. Oh, or... Keep you on your toes. It might be... It looks like the antenna moved, but maybe that's just... I see you. <laughs> I was pretending to be dead. Or he tripped and like <laughs> face planted. Face planted in the body. He's just like <laughs> rest here for a minute. There's a couple little amphipods right on the top of the carapace, right by the eyes. Mm -hmm. well, those are tiny. You can come in if you got it. How strange. Yeah, the kids buried dad in the sand. Good one video. <laughs>